happy morning, y'all. So we are eating breakfast in the wind jammer. We were gonna get up to go to Johnny Rockets, but we slept so hard last night. Um, so we made it to the wind jammer, and what I've got here is some bacon, some ham off the bone like they carve it for you, a cheese omelet, some scrambled eggs, butter, cheese, um, salsa, pork sausage, a little roasted tomato, and more cheese. And then I've got my coffee. And with that, I brought, these are those coffee bombs. And this is the vanilla cinnamon, and it's unsweetened. Day two breakfast in the buffet. I got a little bit of everything, and of course I got my hard-boiled eggs. Good morning, y'all. I finally slept, and we just kept sleeping. <laughs> so I've got my coffee. That's good, that little F, uh, coffee bomb. I said F bomb, but it's a coffee bomb. I can really get the cinnamon out of there, so that's really nice. And we're just here in the wind jammer, and uh, the ham is really good. The scrambled eggs are really good. They're really creamy. Um, and then the other thing they I did find because they try to um, have a variety for all different cultures. I found some pickled ginger. So hey, I keep having my pickled ginger, which is good. Um, they had all I saw for yogurt was a non-fat yogurt. I was like, why well, non-fat? Um, but it was plain. So yeah, yeah, pretty good. So. I know we missed the morning routine at, um, today's the first day of the conference and I know we missed all the morning stuff. We had our own. <laughs> yeah, we were conferencing in our sleep. Um, that's okay. We'll go by there. That's the thing with this. You can come and go as you want. And, you know, I saw some other people were going to go play bingo and different things. So, don't feel like on the cruise, oh, you have to do the whole, you know, Seminar. You could do none of it if you wanted to. Just be on the cruise and um, hang out with people in between. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to probably go this afternoon to a couple of the speakers. But other than that, um, I think then we'll probably go back and he might edit a video yes. to get that released to y'all. Um, so, yeah. That's that's our day. And as you can tell, it's pretty loud in here, right? Um, but really nice. So far, it's a nice size ship. And, you know, it's pretty big, but it's not difficult to get around. So we're having a great time. It was really nice to get some rest. I think it was about midnight when we finally went to bed. So to sleep until 9, I really needed it, y'all. 100%. And then tomorrow, we're going to be in Roboton. Yeah. So definitely continue to eat a proper human diet, but you're, I feel like your medical investigation is not complete yet. There's probably something missing. You've got something that you don't know you've got. More than I'm sorry for that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I think we have uh, time for one more. All right. And now I got the gluten-free calamari and our escargot. This is the whole reason why I go on this cruise. Seriously, I love it. It's like the vacation of first. I'm having calamari for the first time. Here we go. And they did these gluten-free for us. 
Bring it out in front of the fire. Yeah. Well, hey, that's Father's good. Lynette Zaug, if you're out there, this is so much better than a chicken heart that does not taste like bacon. <laughs> So we are starting this evening with some calamari, and they did it gluten-free for us. My napkin is down here at Chili's feet. Oh. I have a slippery dress on up here. <laughs> it looks like some kind of slaw on the side. I can reach it, but I can't. Some kind of mayo. Thank you so much. And we'll make it a habit. Gluten-free calamari. Looks good. End of my and then next course, I got the French onion soup, and it doesn't have the bread, it's just cheese, the soup, and some onions, and it's nice and warm this time, so perfect. And then for our main entree, I've got the beef tenderloin, look at how pretty that is, along with, oh, they put the mashed potatoes in there. And some asparagus. That's a shame. I did tell them no mashed potatoes. All right. And for dessert, we got the cheese plate again. It looks like some kind of cheddar. This looks like a brie. And it's some kind of herb. Some walnuts, chutney, and celery. And of course, they always put grapes on it. Here we are, y'all, at the show for Mama Mia. We're down here. And we're just finishing up, getting everybody seated. We're right in the middle. There's the balconies up there. And then we're spending the evening with Sarah and Shauna. Hey! They're neighbors of ours on the ship. <laughs> So, fun night. We'll give you a recap after the show and let you know what we thought about it. That so, show was amazing. Yeah, so we got out of Mamma Mia. It's actually the next morning because the Mamma Mia show goes for two and a half hours, y'all. With a 15-minute intermission. <laughs> right. So, at least there's that. But, so it started at 8.30. We didn't finish till 11. By the time we get back to the room and everything, we were just... We're still exhausted. I just woke up, so I'm a little, if I look a little funky, that's why. Oh, that, that's it. But, uh, no, so, Mama Mia, I mean, I, good. it was as good as going to, like, a Broadway show, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah. Great set, amazing performers. actors and singers, yeah, performers, great dancing, the song sounded amazing. Um, really impressed it with the performers. It might be one of the best shows we've ever seen on a cruise ship, honestly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. And, you know, I, I feel like most people have probably seen Mamma Mia, so you're pretty familiar with it. And, again, it kind of reminded me of some of the songs. I was like, oh, I remember this song. I've never seen it before. I've heard of it. I've never oh. seen it. Didn't know the story or anything. And I've heard a lot of the songs. I didn't honestly know that that's what it was. They were tied together. I really didn't. Oh, okay. So I learned a lot. <laughs> and I was actually impressed because sometimes he, during a show, he'll be nodding off. Yeah. But he was awake the whole time. And then was like, even would look at me and be like, like, you really seem like I'm, you were I'm not a really big fan of musicals, but it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, I can't remember the name of the song, but there's one of the tunes that Fozzie did a remake of, too. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to sing it so they can no, help? No, I told you I can't carry a tune in a bucket. <laughs> but after this is over, I'm going to go pull it up and show you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was really good. We were fortunate, so... How Royal does theirs is, I think it was one or two weeks before the cruise ship leaves, because used to, you would have to wait till you were on the cruise ship, but they released it early where you can make reservations. So you do want to make reservations, especially for their Broadway show, so that you make sure you get a seat. And they open the theater about 45 minutes before, so even though you're reserved, if you show up 
in the app it says if you show up 10 minutes till they might have given your seat away yeah and, and it's what's kind of mm -hmm. cool is like you actually have tickets because you pull up your uh your uh sale pass card whatever and they scan it mm -hmm. yeah this is your ticket but you don't have like an assigned seat yeah so you just kind of go in and find your seat so if you are like oh i want a certain seating area then you want to arrive you know up to that 45 minutes early so we got there i think about 40 minutes early we got on the bottom floor and i think what there was seven rows in front of us yeah but they also have a balcony area as well so depending on what you like um well actually we got pushed out of the balcony because they said that was for a higher um right when you're higher up in the ranking yeah the first two seats. or three rows mm -hmm are reserved on the balcony yeah. but um we uh went down i preferred actually to be on the ground yes. floor and it was just really amazing show it was great and again that's it's complimentary so even though we say you have to reserve tickets you're not paying for it it's part of your cruise fare so i always suggest getting that because yeah. we have a couple cruise friends you know who you are who um had, never do shows never do shows and i'm like but they're such amazing shows and we dragged them along. for it i know we dragged them along to a show and they were like wow this is actually good i'm like yeah um so yeah we thoroughly enjoyed that i hope everyone who's on the cruise ship with the low carb cruise got a chance to go watch it because they only did two performances oh really mm-hmm and uh, so that's gonna. I I hope everybody really enjoyed that's really it. That's really wild, but you're only doing two, because normally in theater, the first and the last show are always the best. Right. Because the first, because they just finished rehearsing it, uh. and then the last show, because they've already done the whole week, they've done it, got it down. And right. Repetition. Right. But doing two, that's amazing. Well, but if you think about it, they're doing two every week. Oh, that's true too. They have got it down because that's right. As soon as we're getting off the ship, that's why we get off what they get us, want you off by 11 at the latest. <laughs> yeah. They got another crew coming on. Mm -hmm. That's true. So they, they do have it down. So yeah. yeah. And, and again, it was amazing. So that, I highly recommend those shows. Um, let me know, comment below if you've actually seen Mama Mia on Broadway. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cause I actually anything on Broadway. Oh, wow. Well, my mom and I, we, we did. Show off. <laughs> well, one time we were fortunate enough that when we flew home uh, from our um, crew, we did a cruise, a Baltic Sea cruise, and we flew home from right. Norway, and one of the people we met, I mean, rest his soul, he was an amazing gentleman, and he ad advised us of how to change our tickets so that we could have a couple days in New York and because that was our pit stop on the way home so while we were there we got to see a Broadway show and it was Mamma Mia Put and that on the list. I want to do that yeah it was really nice so yeah comment below let me know if you've had a chance to actually do that um, I always recommend if you're ever able to go to New York City definitely go to a broadway show and even an off-broadway show they're all wonderful have that to me that's a bucket list thing like you you need to do that once in your life yes um the other thing that happened yesterday is the first day of the low carb cruise conference oh thank you oh well i'm trying to pan around so i can see well i'm panning around where i can see it in the mirror i'm a dummy down just a tad there you go so when you go so it was day one of the conference and so when you go to the conference um this is the swag yeah everybody so i'm going to show you so you get a, a tote right no they, actually the one for fixing to show you is going to be a duplicates because we both got a tote yeah well i was going to just one show bag. show yeah. one okay. but anyways um you go in and they have like a little table of different uh, freebies and information um, pamphlets and stuff and if you didn't already get it um, the organizers put together door magnets because no longer on cruise ships can you tape stuff on the door but you can since it's all metal you can put a magnet so they made a nice I mean basically a souvenir magnet and it has the ship 
uh, anchor on it and then it has low carb cruise 2023 so it's kind of neat when you're walking through the halls you could be like oh there's another low carb cruiser or there's another one because you see those on the door so you have that and then in our swag y'all what we've gotten so far they are giving away a lot of stuff this week uh but this is what everybody gets so we got a package of element so this has their sampler i think it's either four or five oh, i'll put it right here and so you know we love our element and then everybody gets a little uh, notebook, so which is really handy because, you know, when you're listening to the different speakers, you can be taking notes. So that, I think, is really nice um, or, you know, whatever else you need to use. I mean, we always need a notebook of some type, right? Yeah. So that's cool. And, of course, because you got a notebook, you got to have a pen. And so these are, and they're nice pins. They're like those gel type. And of course it says low carb cruise. And I thought that was really neat. And then we also got, this is a ketone audacious nutrition. I think this is the one by one of the doctors is in on it, but this is the one at KetoCon we had last year and this year. And you actually like it. Yeah. Um, so I know some people are like, ah, oh, I threw it, I threw it out, but honestly, out of all the different ketone ones we've tried, which we've only tried them like at KetoCon, cause I ain't going to pay. Yeah. I ain't going to pay for it. My body already knows how to do it itself. Right. But I feel like for Heath and if you have certain, um, mental or illnesses, you know, it might be helpful. And so like for him, you know, on some days when maybe he's feeling a little more wobbly or whatever, he has actually used this and you felt like it did help yeah. you a little bit. And this one, out. And this one actually has a good flavor. Yeah. Uh, so that's why he likes it. So I, I was happy that we're getting that. And then we get a meat stick. Oh, look, we got a jalapeno and a teriyaki. Oh, wow. And look, that's a nice size meat yeah. stick. This is by Paleo Valley. Oh, wow. Yeah, so beef sticks. That's cool because we got two because there's two of us. Um, and then... We just combined our two bags. Yeah. Lots of relight individuals. Single yeah. yeah, single packets. A variety of flavors. So I thought that was pretty nice. And then we also got some... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they give you a little tag here on how to make it, but it's... It's Skinny's, which we're actually an affiliate with. So I was excited. This is the Maui Mai Tai. Oh, wow. And I don't think we've one. had this one. So I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Again, you don't have to add alcohol to it. You can just have it on its own. And it gives you um, non-alcoholic versions. So just a way, you know, especially during the summer, have you a little uh, drink. Like if you're going to a July 4th party, and you don't want to feel like, oh, well, people are going to question why I'm not drinking. Well, here's a way you could have a drink and nobody would know that there's zero sugar in it and you don't have to have alcohol. And you could be like, yeah, I'm having a virgin Mai Tai. And people would be like, oh, that's cool. So great option for that. So I was excited that we got some skitties. And then um, some of the things that we had at the front was an egg life coupon this is for a free package of egg life which to me that's an awesome, awesome. swag item because yeah. we really use these and those they are about anywhere between five four, four to eight dollars a package depending on what store you find yeah them. so that's really handy so i'm glad we each got that um and then also the egg life uh lip balm and i know shauna said she loves this lip balm so I'm excited we got that again, which also this is handy on the cruise. I mean, I do have, of course, a lip balm with me, but I do find that sometimes um, I, I feel a little more dry. And so it's nice to have a lip balm. And let me see if there's anything. That might be everything. Well, this is only day one, so there's still more swag to go collect. Right. And well, and they're giving lots of giveaways. We got, there's several books that will be given away too. Yeah. So, uh, I thought, uh, and there's a ton of 
relight. There's like five or six. Oh, yeah. The other things we, so they'll have a donation bin. So if yes. there's anything you don't like, so if you're like, you know what, I don't want these ketones or I don't want the skinnies, they have a little donation bin. The other things we got that we put in there was uh, Chalk Zero. So it was a full bag of Chalk Zero. It was their white chocolate peanut butter cups. And I imagine they taste amazing, but I just can't eat peanut butter anymore. Right. And every bag was peanut butter. Yeah, they were all the same. It must and be then, a new flavor they're putting out and they're wanting to really promote it. <laughs> right. And my thing, too, is I am sure after last year when we had the Chalk Zero, because we won it from Two Crazy Ketos, and, but we shared with everybody because I was like, look, if I open a bag, I'm going to eat a bag. I'm going to eat the whole bag. So it was just a great way for us at dinner time to share with everybody on the cruise. So everybody that wanted to got to have a little sample, plus it limited me. So there's an idea, you know, y'all. Uh, but this year, I was like, I'm sure from last year that it spiked my blood sugar because everyone I know that was at least a pre-diabetic before that has had Chalk Zero has told me that it has spiked their blood sugar. So I'm sure that happened last year because I know my A1C went up a little bit and I bet seven days of having Chalk Zero every day, spiking that blood sugar every day. So um, I was like, you know what? He can't even eat it, which means it would be on me and I don't want to do that again, right? I just better not. So I put it in the donation bin. And then the other thing we got was also Keto Chow. So Keto oh. Chow being a dominant sponsor of the Low Carb Cruise. Of course, since Swag, the I think they sent two flavors. One was chocolate. The other was lemon meringue. We both got lemon meringue, which we have a full bag of lemon we meringue. Have a, have the giant bag. Of yeah. And so I was, and, and I feel like, you know, we, Keto Chow is so generous to us. They're always sending us samples and different things. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put this back in the bin so somebody else in the conference that really needs Keto Chow, you know, because I, you know, save them some money, right? They get more free samples. So I put that back in there as well so somebody else can enjoy the Keto Chow as much as we do. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we got. But... Throughout the days of the conference, they are doing giveaways. So originally, I thought they were only doing the giveaways at 2 p.m. every day. But then yesterday, they said that they were actually doing giveaways all day long. And it's kind of how they're doing it this year, is if you're there, you have to be present to win. Whereas last year, it was kind of like they would pull names and you just go up and collect when you were able to. So, I mean, it's a little different. A little different. I, I kind of like last year's because there are things, you know, we're still on a cruise ship, right? It's still vacation. Like this afternoon, there's the Love and Marriage show, which we absolutely adore. And yeah, we'll miss some of the conference because we want to go to the Love and Marriage show. Um, so it just kind of like limit you um as far as if you're wanting a prize i don't feel like out of everything we've seen the only thing i really want is a keto break right <laughs> but other than that i don't feel like um i'm gonna miss out but what it is is mostly books which is awesome that all of the uh, speakers donated some books for the giveaway. And all of them are on the ship, so you can get them to sign it for you, too. Yes, which is handy. And then, of course, Keto Bricks. Um, there's a few other other things that they're doing giveaways for. I forget. Oh, somebody got, like, an A1C test from Dr. Boz. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, different things like that. Um... So, again, if we're there, we win something, that's awesome. If not, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not going to be disappointed, right? Right. Uh, but, yeah, so it's, it's great. And that's the good thing about the conference is you don't have to um, go to all of it. So don't feel like, oh, I have to get up at 8 or, well, get up earlier. I have to be at the conference at 8, stay all day. No, you come and go as you want. You get the schedule and you just decide, okay, here's who I want to see. And then also in the evening, they do a Q&A session where you could go 
And if you have any actual medical questions, or, well, I guess I should say just medical, but if you have any questions for that speaker, then there's a Q&A session, which is awesome. Um, yesterday, we saw, we saw the tail end of Chris Bears, mm -hmm. and then we saw um, Dr. Barry. Dr. Barry, right. And what I love, too, what he did, he did not have anything prepared. He only did a question and answer. He said he yeah. feels like the folks dig that more. And it's more beneficial to him to just do that. So he said he actually enjoys it doing it that way. Yeah, and what I have found, too, with Dr. Barry, because, you know, we've basically been following him the whole time we've been keto for four years, and we have yeah. seen him multiple times speak yes. at different conventions and even a book signing. Every single time I have heard him speak, it has been a different talk a different discussion i have learned something every single time so like at the books um signing with that's where we learned first met him, yeah, the, met him the first time right and that's where somebody said well what if i just get the organic um you know grains isn't that better for me than the regular and he that's when he was like well okay if i give you coke and i give cocaine. you organic cocaine do you really think there's a beneficial there? And um, so that's his uh, sense like of his humor. It's like his no-nonsense approach to it. Yes. That's why I tell everybody I do very method keto. Yes. And, and every time I see him in person, I make sure to go up and shake his hand and thank him for saving my life. And you'll see, you should have saw the picture of us with him from yeah. yesterday. And that's what I mean. Every single time I have seen him... It has been a different discussion, and I've heard some people, they'll be like, oh, I don't want to go see so-and-so because it's the same talk. And some some speakers do give a same or similar talk, but Dr. Barry, I have always learned something from him. So, like, his KetoCon talk that we just saw this year, totally different, totally different than, any, than when we heard him at KPL and um, at the um, Hard to Kill Summit. And, of course, the book signing. And then um, on um, this low-carb cruise, that was great where he just had answered people's questions because it really was different things that, you know, like somebody asked a great question about sleep. Another person asked about, hey, I have um, AFib. Um, and then how does that affect me? And somebody else said, well, you know, I've done this and this and this on keto and it's still you know i'm not getting these results so i thought it was very information you know very, very informative, informative. Yeah. thank you and um it, it, it just a, a delight right because he to me i feel like he that shows he really cares about the community it's nice. not like hey here's my book you gotta buy and here's a talk from my book because that's what sometimes i've noticed with speakers is they will be like, okay, here's my new book or whatever. I'm just going to give you an overview from that new book. And then you go buy that book to you'll support it. So you'll hear the whole story. Where Dr. Barry's like, no, like I know many of you still have questions. Let me help you on that journey to get the information. And in fact, afterwards, you know, we went up there, saw Dr. Barry, and he asked him about his hearing. Because money all night, you may not know it, but when I was two years old, I had spinal meningitis and it left me deaf in my left ear. Well, after I had that little, whenever I was diagnosed with the MS, they sent me over to, well, actually, that's what led me being diagnosed. I went to an ear, note and throat, throat specialist, and they actually did a hearing test on me. And they figured out I'm not completely deaf in my left ear, that I, a, a hearing aid would help me. But then they also told me, not to go buy one at Costco and just, but hand me a piece of paper and said, oh, but by the way, you can go ahead and uh, check out these folks and they'll help you with financing for one. He started laughing when I told him this and he said, no, 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 no. He goes, everything you get over the counter at Costco will be perfect. That will help you. Because I was curious as if it was, um, it was keto or maybe I was, I was misdiagnosed because I was only two years old and I didn't test well. Because you're a two year old, how, you know? And he's like, it'd probably be a little bit of both. He goes, but go ahead and get, he goes, especially with Costco's return policy, go ahead and get that hearing aid and see if it works. And I was telling him the story about how I told my mom about it all. She's like, well, what are you going to do if it doesn't work and you're still deaf? I said, 
I guess I'll just keep on being deaf. And he started laughing. He goes, right? He goes, what else can you do? <laughs> right. What have you lost? He goes, you already lost your hearing. <laughs> right. But go ahead and give it a try. Right. So that's what I love about him, too. It's what drew me to him. Because, y'all, first, when she made me go keto, I was very reluctant. And she was always, always watching videos. And I was in the background doing other stuff. And I just, I don't know what it was about him. I, I like overheard part of one of his videos. And just the way his whole approach was, he was very so down to earth. I basically feel like he put everything in layman terms. And so like the normal person, lay person, could understand it. And that's mm -hmm. what drew me to him. So it wasn't until, honestly, that the doctor called me and told me that I was no longer type 2, but type two diabetic that sold me on this. And I've just been following him ever since. And mm -hmm. that's why I say I do very method keto. I yeah. just love his whole approach to everything. Well, and I, he I, doesn't sugarcoat anything. Right. And some of the speakers that I was hearing yesterday, they said they got too sciencey, too in the weeds. It was just too much yeah. to take in. Um, and I always feel like with Dr. Barry, he not only puts in layman's terms, but it, what you see is what you get. Yes. Right? So, you know, it, it isn't a front or anything. When Every time we've met him in person, he is still that same down-to-earth, genuine person. Like, he doesn't have that air of being a doctor. Like, some, some doctors are just like, oh, look at me. I'm so good. But, no, he's very down-to-earth, very friendly, just enjoys being around people and, and helping people. And somebody... On the hungry horn, said that you're a, a Dr. Barry fanboy. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. But I'm like, it isn't that we're a, uh, or that he's a fanboy. It's here's somebody who speaks the truth. Here's somebody that is always teaching others. Like he's been doing this for over four years now, and he is still teaching people. There are and several people who were in there. They are not new to keto. They've been doing keto, and he's still helping them through it. So he's not just, oh, I just want to get new people to keto. He wants to help you continue and realize keto is a lifestyle, not a diet. It's not something temporary. It's for life. And that's why we enjoy him because, again, and support Dr. Berry's. I feel like he is constantly there to help others, and he does educate you. And, again, Four years now, I still learn something from Dr. Barry every time I hear him talk. And it's never boring to me. Like, it's very engaging. And um, it, it's just... Comical, too. Mostly. Yeah, com he's got a great personality. And so it's just a, a great talk. That's always the one at any convention. We always go and see Dr. Barry because I know it's going to be a great talk. I don't know whether it's billed as the marquee or not. It is for us. It's, yes. It's the go-to show we have to go see. The yes. speaker we have to go see. So that's how it works, y'all. So on C days, you go to the conference when you want. So again, like some people were like, oh, I got to go play bingo or I want to go to the trivia. They went and did that. That's okay. Nobody's keeping score. You could just like never show up if you wanted to. Um, and in fact, we're missing a couple speakers this right morning. Um, but it, and it's, it's fine. And the other good thing about that is if there is something you want to do, cause you're on vacation, they record all of the speakers, and after the cruise, about a month after the cruise, they post all of it online on YouTube so you could go back and watch it. And especially if it was like one, like some of the ones that were real sciencey, might be a lot to take in on a vacation, but you heard it the first time, and then you could re watch it again once Debbie posts those online and be like, okay, now it's clicking. Because that's sometimes how I am with something that's just real sciencey. It's like, okay, I listen once, kind of start to understand it, then by the second time I've listened, I'm like, okay, now I'm getting it. So that's the good thing, too. Don't feel like you're missing out because they are recorded. So that's always nice. And then, um, I guess that was basically our day yesterday, right? Yeah. So it was a really, and it was formal night. Yeah. So, um, I got dressed up and I enjoyed my little red dress yes, and my... I enjoyed it too. <laughs> and my, um, what, what were the hose called again? I always forget. Fishnet. Fishnet hose. 
and then my adorable Doc Martin boots that had Sharon made me bat wings. And they were amazing. So many people were like, oh my gosh, I love your bat wings. Even people that were like not part of our group because you're walking on the ship. And some of the people were like, oh my gosh, I love the bat wings. Oh, those are so cute. So that was adorable. I loved it. And I thought it went right with my outfit, my dress. Because mm -hmm. that's kind of like me. Like some people get like, and that's great. And they look beautiful. They'll wear like the cocktail dress with the high heels and you know all the jewelry and all that i'm just kind of a i mean honestly y'all i'm a little gothy so i kind of have that mix of um elegant but yet casual so i had my doc martin boots but guess what they had the pretty red rose design on the side and then the bat wing and then I had my fishnet stockings and my red dress. What? I'm just and um, and then I had earrings that were little skeletons. So as I walked, then they would kind of like dance. Um, so it's just that kind of mix, right? That's that's my kind of style. Like I don't want to go full like a oh, cocktail dress type of thing, but I, I that's that's me. I don't know what that style is. I call it goth because. That's where I got my dress was on a goth site, and that's kind of how they... I just call it Shelly style. Right? <laughs> so, um, that was fun. So, usually on the cruise, the second and the sixth night are formal nights, but y'all, on Royal Caribbean and even Carnival, when they say formal, it ain't formal you it could you could be as formal as you want you know it's your cruise but you can also be wearing a t-shirt and jeans and be fine like you don't don't feel like oh well now i gotta go get a special dress you don't and don't feel like oh well now i gotta go get a cocktail dress and spend a hundred dollars like no you could go on like sheen or walmart and just get you like a ten dollar dress if you wanted or just wear like some slacks or even shorts and a t-shirt don't feel like oh i have to dress up because you don't and there were several people who were not because they're like i'm on vacation i don't get dressed up um and i 100 percent support that <laughs> and um but yeah it was oh look i just said something Rhonda's gonna be like shelly you said that but it was a really good day that yes. was enjoyable it was wonderful getting to see so many people and meeting everyone. We're just really loving hanging out with everyone all day. And any last words you want to add about Let's go it? Let's eat breakfast. Yes, I it's guess time. we'll go do that. Okay. Well, um, thank you again for watching. This was the day two vlog. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. And we're showing a lot of stuff for you to kind of get an idea of what a low-carb cruise is like or just cruising in general. So I hope you're enjoying riding along with us. And then don't forget... Every Friday night, 6.30 Central, we go live for the Friday Night Feast. We cook up an entree, maybe grab a little snacks, show you how to do it. And we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Lord. Hope you can tune in sometime. We'd love to have you over for dinner. Thank you all for watching. And then stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. This is why we get to do these keto events. It's because of folks like you. And speaking of, uh, when we said every Friday night, as long as the internet plays fair, we will be going live this Friday night. So I hope to see you there. On the, on the show. We're not, they won't let us cook, y'all. They won't. I keep asking, and they're like, no, ma'am, you can't come back here and cook. Oh, oh. somebody's calling. Bye.